In this demo, we're going to talk about what's really burning when there's a fire. Well, first, let's just start off with a, a liquid. This is just a mixture of alcohol and water. And we put it on this fire-resistant countertop. And we laid it on fire, and we would say that the liquid's burning. But really what happened is the liquid has to be converted to a vapor, and then the vapor burns. So we heated up that liquid, that alcohol, up above its flash and fire point. Now it produces flammable vapors, and now we've got a fire. Well, let's take it to the next level. Here's just a typical propane torch that we have here, and as it goes up, it entrains the right amount of air, so when it comes out, we have a nice, efficient flame. Well, in this case, we're going to turn around not press the button all the way. We're just going to put some propane and some air inside this jug. Okay, so what we have inside here now is a bunch of flammable propane, some air. We're going to complete the fire tetrahedron by our little ignition. Okay, so in that case, what we had was where this was a slower, more controlled fire. In this case, all the fuel burned all at once. Now let's take it to the real heart of this demo. We're going to talk about a concept called pyrolysis. Again, only vapors burn, not liquids or solids, but we have to convert them over to a vapor. So what happens when we have a piece of paper? If we held up a match, somebody would say, well, the, the paper burns. And all that, that's kind of the, the short answer. Really what happens is the paper has to be converted to a flammable gas. So as we heat it up, it undergoes pyrolytic decomposition, or pyrolysis. And what happens there as it's heating up? Uh, the result of that is some char and ash and flammable vapors. Then if those flammable vapors are hot enough, that's in fact what's really burning. So for this demo, we just have a bunch of little wood shavings. Okay, now we're going to take them and put them inside a special high temperature test tube. Okay, now we're going to turn around and take our torch. This is about a 1500 degree flame. We're going to apply it to this high temperature test tube. The heat's going to conduct through to the wood. The wood inside is going to undergo pyrolysis. It's going to produce some char and ash, and then it's also going to produce flammable vapors. And because they're hot, they're buoyant, they're going to rise up to the top of the tube. At which point, we're going to provide an ignition source, and you'll see that the vapors burn up here. But they don't, the fire doesn't travel down the test tube because this is way too rich. It's pretty much 100% flammable vapors. So in this case, we have the, the heat heating up the fuel down there, producing the flammable vapors, or the smoke, because we know that smoke is fuel. It rises up an ignition source, so that's what's burning. Yeah, already we can see a bunch of smoke coming up. So again, remember, smoke is flammable vapor. We light that on fire and it's burning. But you're going to see the fire is going to kind of start dying out because I took the heat source away from the bottom. But if I provide more heat to the fuel down there, or the wood, it undergoes more pyrolytic decomposition, produces more flammable vapors. The vapors come up, it's already burning, so it has its ignition source, and it burns. So that's what's happening when we have a typical Class A fire. So what does that mean to firefighters? Well, how are we going to put the fire out? We've got to stop the fuel from undergoing pyrolytic decomposition. Thus, that's the use of water. We put the wet stuff on the base of the red stuff, or where the, the solid is undergoing pyrolytic decomposition. That's pyrolysis.